When back structures are damaged, pain signals ascend from the lower back through the spinal cord to arrive in the brain region that perceives pain, the sensory cortex. However, this is not a direct route. At least two connections have to be made. It's at these relay stations, which include the spinal cord and the thalamus, that pain signals can be regulated by the brain. Let's take a closer look at the first relay station located in the dorsal horn of the lumbar spinal cord. Here, the incoming pain signals are passed from a sensory neuron in the lower back to a relay neuron in the spinal cord. The pain signals then ascend up to the brain. This pain impulse can be reduced by a specific type of neuron carrying signals back from the brain. As a result, fewer pain signals are sent to the brain, so we feel less pain. However, if, for instance, you are stressed, these brain signals can increase the pain signals. Therefore, studies show that patients with depression or anxiety experience more pain, while patients who have positive attitudes and are engaged in their treatment feel less pain.